Sound? No sound? Can yeah, you hear right. us? Okay. It is Are right. we there? Yeah, but it's don't don't talk. It's overdriven. <clears throat> Check, 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 check. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Check, check. Hold on. Going. There's your problem. That didn't stick. Check, check. I see what happened now. Okay. Well, that's always good to know. All right. Are we? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we Are we should, good now? We should be good now. Should be good, right? Yes, we have sound. Okay. okay. That was, uh... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that was the whole thing. Nothing like starting off the second live stream of the year. With a technical with a difficulty. Little, uh, little technical difficulties. Hey, it's okay. okay. It happens. It happens yeah. to the best of us. It does. I'm not going to lie. I just sit here and go, I don't know what to do, because I don't know what to do. What's the okay. problem now? Nothing. It's just the thing we talked about before is now not hap is not going. Okay. Well, do so, you want to make it go? Maybe. Let me okay. See. Let's see. As long as this doesn't mess anything up. Are we still good? And you can still hear us? Okay. So here in a minute, I'll great get that part. Too. Okay. All right. Well, messy, <laughs> messy intro, but uh, thanks for thanks for sticking around. Um, I think that's how people know that we still don't have like a crew. <laughs> we don't have a team. Mm. It's just the two of us, and we just sometimes, you know, human error. It's us and this hired, and technology. hired monkey, and and he he. Uh, Zoe tries to push yeah. the button, but she doesn't have any thumbs. She doesn't. Oh, I'm back. Hello. <laughs> yeah, Sarah's back. I have recovered from my illness. I had the plague. Uh, yeah. I how's, was bedridden for quite some time. How's your taste? It's much better than it was. Um, like the first four or five days, I could not really taste anything except for I could tell like it was salty or it was sweet but I couldn't tell flavors and it was my it wasn't my taste so much as it was my smell for like four or five days everything's just smelled like garbage it smelled like passing by little like a, garbage a dumpster mm. like actual garbage it was really unpleasant to just be laying in bed and just feel like everything smelled because it made me want to be like I would just like take two showers because I would be like in the morning and at night because I'd be like I it must be me yeah but it wasn't it was just it wasn't me. You couldn't. Well, you weren't there. I wasn't around. Yeah. yeah. Um, if people are confused. You could escape it. Sarah had COVID. I had COVID. And she lost her... Um, my taste and my smell. More, well, okay. I more my say, smell. More your smell? But I did lose your taste? a lot of my taste. For, okay. But honestly, it wasn't that bad. I mean, by the time I had recovered, it was mostly back. Now I'm good. So. Now you're good. All yeah. right. Well, good. <laughs> and you're, uh, you managed to... we. Life events happened in such a way that Chad and I weren't actually like near each other for the couple days before and when I came into, when I tested positive. So yeah. then he just also stayed away after that. And then you had a trip planned for the next weekend. So yeah, so I was doing the tests and he managed I kept to... getting negative. So I went up to Columbus as planned, tested up there even, trying to be very responsible, you know. And uh, yeah, luckily, uh, I I'm just happy it. that you didn't get it also. Yeah, me Because too. then that puts us out of work for... Yeah. A little bit longer, you know what I mean? Shreef. Um, I'm not a big fan of laying in bed for we like eight days straight. So. Actually had a super chat before we even went live with what? our terrible intro. It's from Joey Tony Bag of Donuts. Bet he wishes he could take it back now. <laughs> <laughs> he says, welcome back, Sarah. Thank you. did you. a good job, Chad, but we needed the combo <clears throat> like Oreos and horseradish. Or PB&J, if that's more your thing. Yeah. yeah. A Virgin Bloody Mary. Cheers to you both. Because he's doing dry in month. dry month. Good for you. Thank you, Tony. Appreciate that. You only got that. like, what, ten more days left? So close. Nothing. Who's counting? Not me. <laughs> Not us. And then, oh, Gramps. Speaking of um, a trip up to Columbus, uh, Gramps joined us up there. Uh, yeah, Gramps in the Super Duper Chat saying, uh, glad you're feeling better, <clears throat> better, Sarah. Congrats on your feature on the news. You were on the news. Oh, thanks. I was on the local news. Yes, she was. I did a little cocktail segment um, on the local news, and I might be back on this week. We'll see. For more cocktail things. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and then Chad will be on at some point as well. At some point maybe. as well. Maybe. As we're told. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, when we get the clip, we'll share it somehow. Yeah. Um, not sure how, but we'll share it. 
Yeah. We were both at BourbonCon uh, yesterday in Lexington, mm -hmm. and we did a uh, build your own old fashioned seminar. Our very first cocktail seminar. Mm -hmm. With a bunch of people. Learned and some things. That went really well. Met some new people, some new viewers. Yeah. They might be viewing us right now. I don't know. But if we. Oh gosh, I kind of hope not with the, <laughs> the intro. Like, I promise it isn't always like this. But the people who are here regularly know that it is sometimes like this. It is sometimes like this. Yeah. It keeps you on your toes. You like it. Yeah. Everybody loves when people mess up. I mean, here's I think. a cowbell. That's for you, John. That's for you. <laughs> <laughs> and Tony. And Tony. You just sat it there. You didn't ring it. Well, because we don't have bell. anything in our glass. More cowbell. Well, we're going to get something in our glass. Let's uh, get our our setting. Great. Our setting set. Our set setting. Mise en place. And, oh. Here. Oh, we're going to wear these? Well, well, now that you've done that. So, I was up there. If you saw the hunting video, you know this, but I was... Uh, up there mainly for Dudathon, which was a showing of the Big Lebowski, and then 10 different beers from um, an, an Ohio uh, brewery up there. And uh, everyone got some glasses. Someone left theirs behind. D didn't even take them out of the plastic, so oh, I nab nice. nabbed one for Sarah here so she wouldn't feel left out because I gotta say I look good in these glasses. I don't know about me. Maybe, I guess. They're okay. I feel a bit like like if they weren't yellow tinted, I feel like I'd have a little bit of a serial killer look going on. A little know? bit. A little bit. I wore them for like an hour and a half uh, when I got there, and then yeah, this just became my world. And eventually, I took them off, and I was like, like, the world isn't so tinted yellow. White. Yeah. Like the the movie screen is so white. Mm. Uh, it was a lot of fun, and uh, did some bourbon hunting, and yeah, that you was had Friday's, yourself quite the time. Friday's video. So well, yeah. Well, I I did not mind. Yeah, I just enjoyed the whole house to myself <laughs> for yeah. like four days. It was great. Yeah. I mean, I was sick. I wasn't too sick to really enjoy it, but, you know, it sure. was nice. For anyone who was like, oh, you should have been taking care of her. No, no. No, no, no. This is what we have DoorDash for. Yeah. And every, everything else. I don't need it. When I'm sick, I'm like, I want to be left alone. Like, you know, I don't know. You know, when like dogs go off by themselves when they're ill, oh, they go hide. I don't want to make it dark, but... I did. That's kind of my specialty. I don't know if you guys know that by now. Yeah. I'll make it weird. <laughs> clip that out. Someone clip that out, Matt. I'll make it weird. That's that's a just for Matt Madness. I'll make it weird. Yeah. <laughs> which is coming up again, by the way, which is wild because it feels like we just did that. Yeah. We got Bourbon Bowl <laughs> six. Gosh, that's sooner than I coming up. Thought. Bourbon Bowl six, in which I'll probably never catch up. Ah, uh, you've been on a good streak. Yeah, whatever. Been on a good streak. Okay, Bourbon Bowl. Yep. Um, yeah, Matt Manis. Hopefully, we get invited back. Uh, it's always always a pleasure. Hopefully, we can do the uh, the Bourbon Night Awards. Yes, I would like to do that this year. And uh, yeah, we were kind of on see. hiatus last year. The writers were on strike, so we couldn't do it. No writers. <laughs> no writers write our beautiful words. No. Um, um, yeah. Uh, what else? Oh, New Orleans in March. If you are, haven't uh, looked into the New Orleans Bourbon Festival in March and that sounds like something you might want to look into, then you should Google it because we'll be there. We'll be doing a session and hanging out. And we've been, every year that they've put it on, we've been. So. Every year that, yep, they have held it. <gasps> well, yeah. main, right. main event time. <clears throat> I normally do the main event at the end, but we do it at the top. Uh, the Traveler. <laughs> it, it, it's like we couldn't not do it because everyone is doing this and a lot of people want to hear other people's opinions on it sure. so we are glad to be able to weigh in this is actually picked up on uh, my hunt in ohio so i got it for 39.99 okay plus tax ohio tax a little higher than kentucky mm -hmm. and then i actually noticed on the receipt today like a dollar 30 convenience fee i don't know who who <laughs> who it was uh, convenient for not exactly me because i mm -hmm. Drove 300 miles right, round yeah. trip and um, drove around Ohio <laughs> on a very rainy, crappy day. But it was convenient for someone. So it was more like 44 almost $45 uh -huh. when it was all said and done. But this is the Chris Stapleton, the you know Grammy Award winning uh, country artist in collaboration with Harlan Wheatley of Buffalo Trace. And it's not a bourbon. That's sort of the weird thing. And everyone's been saying this. I'm sure you guys it's have traveler heard this. traveler whiskey. Yeah, it's a blended whiskey. Uh, it has proof. Canadian in it. Oh, I see. It's blend number 40 right there on the bottle. It's because they did 50 blends and the 40th was the right one. So that's, Interesting. that's why it's that one. Okay. But yeah, blended whiskey. Um, 
the articles that I've read have said, you know, so it's nice and smooth, smooth, smooth. Because let's face it, this is marketed more towards a non whiskey drinker or a very occasional uh, casual you whiskey drinker. You think that it's right? more of someone who is a fan of Chris Stapleton that that's the target market or that it's just for mm -hmm. you're more of your be beginner crowd early on in the well, bourbon journey, I guess I would say. Two circles. That middle section, and then right? Diagram. Yeah, I mean, some Chris Stapleton fans or Stapleton fans are going to buy this and never even open it. It's just going to sit on their shelf as a, a memento or whatever you want to call it. And then others decor, decor, decorum. And then others are going to try it and they're like, yeah, I want to try some whiskey here. It's really smooth. Um, so this isn't He's made so for you. And, it isn't made for you and me. It's probably not made for that. uh for a lot of you either. But, but would like to know. Well, everyone's, like you said, everybody else been trying it. So yeah. I got to know too. If everybody else is going to jump off a bridge, well, where do, where do I get there? How do I get there? <laughs> Another thing that a lot of people are talking about is, you know, the price. $40. $40 for a 90 proof blended whiskey. And that's suggested. Uh, it was flying off the shelves and actually already going in the secondary. People no. Were, yes. Come on. I know. So, uh, yeah. Um, you guys. I know. So forty dollars is enough for blended whiskey because normally blended whiskey that's the stuff on the bottom of the shelf. I know, you know? a Canadian uh, blended whiskey. Yeah, but well, you've got Harlan Wheelie's name on it, so that's obviously going to buy you something. something. And I'm not saying that I agree with that. I'm just saying like you've got these two names stacked behind it that people in the whiskey community know or people in the music community know. Right. To have that. Well, here's the other thing. It's not even Buffalo Trace. It's Barton 1792 is the very strong consensus. Is that what people think, believe that it is? Yes. Okay. So, well, both owned Saz by Sazerac. Sazerac, which they own a lot of Canadian juice. Um, and then Barton 1792. And then Harlan was there and Chris Stapleton was there. And here we, we are with this. We're, we're there, involved in some way. <laughs> well, I mean, I did I did read an article, and because a lot of people also said, hey, Chris Stapleton is sober. He doesn't even drink. So how is this... Uh, Why is this relevant? Why did you pick a spirit yeah. uh, to release? Um, Interesting. Well, I, I found an article, uh -huh. and I can go over there, I think. Here we go. It's Don't actually... mind the tabs. <laughs> All the tabs. Yeah, it says, um, clarifies a rumor that he's sober. Uh, so he's 45 now, and he just says that he's cutting back uh, a lot now. But if you walk into the first room of his house, he probably has like 200 <clears throat> bottles of bourbon there. So I think the word sober got used in an interview, and it's probably a disservice to sober people to call me sober. So this could either be um, some marketing, sort of walking that back. Mm -hmm. Maybe he actually... and conjecture right maybe he actually did say hey i'm sober at some point but they were like hey, hey like, if you hey, want to sell your product you can't uh let's try to walk that back a little bit mm -hmm. or it could be just as he said i mean yeah you i know. think well it's like if you it's said i'm back. doing dry january somebody might say oh, oh so you're sober right now <laughs> and like that might get misconstrued <laughs> right now like right but yeah. but some people do dry january and they decide to just extend it sure yeah. For, and they just, or they only have like a couple, one or two drinks a month for, hey, whatever, whatever makes you happy. Yeah. Another article I read, uh, Chris Stapleton said that, you know, he has a thumbs up or thumbs down method. So he would try a blend and he would either thumbs it up or he would thumbs it down. You know, he, he didn't get into the, well, this one has, you know, like we do, <laughs> another whiskey well, tumors do, but which is fine. When we do barrel picks, I ultimately will make you say kick one out or yeah. at least kick two out right now. I, then that's basically a thumbs up or a thumbs down on it. Agreed. Um, when you're tasting this many blends, 50, you've got to, I think, do that at some level. If you spent all day taking notes on each of them, oh, yeah, it's it would be way over, too much. Over days. I No, yeah. I just mean like, no one has the time. Right. You're going to be able to cut at least 50% of them up front just by doing thumbs up or thumbs down. Absolutely. Has anyone in the chat had this? We would uh, yeah, like to hear from you. Um, if, uh, I just want to satisfy the curiosity. Everybody's been talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, let's, let's examine the bottle here. As we said, blend number 40 on the front. It's 90 proof, as you mentioned. Blended whiskey. You know, it's got its little spiel on the back. Uh, collaboration from Buffalo Trace Distillery and Harlan Wheatley. Yeah. It's kind of grain forward on the nose. There's no age statement, anything else. Like, right, because it's blended, but we don't know yeah. what the... Well, we have a proudly blended and bottled by Buffalo Trace Distillery. That doesn't mean that it's That's Buffalo Trace distilled. Distillery juice, right? Yeah. Yeah. Clever. Clever, Clever girl. 
Yeah, I get kind of like a sweet grain, you know. Yeah. Like a sweet oatmeal kind of on the nose. Maple brown sugar oatmeal. Quaker specifically. I had this earlier today and um, to kind of... Did you? Know, you? I did. Okay. Wanted to see, giving it just a little bit, open up time, we'll do for it. But yeah, not, not a whole lot on the nose. It's not too dissimilar to whiskey on the nose. Now let's wait for the taste. But to whiskey. Ah, uh, sorry, to bourbon. I was it, like, it's it a whiskey. whiskey. It is a whiskey, yeah, to bourbon. <laughs> so I hope not. It's or I hope you feel <laughs> that it is a whiskey. So it just smells like an not very complex. Yeah, that's so weird. Bourbon. I specifically get like. The packets of maple brown sugar oatmeal from Oh, the box. Quaker Oats. Yeah, Quaker Oats. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's what I get. But Totally. Well, let's see. To your health. It kind of tastes like oatmeal in a way. <laughs> mm. Like boozy oatmeal. Yeah. There's a little bit of... Uh, some type of spice element right there a little cinnamon a uh, little cinnamon yeah it is sort of like cinnamon oatmeal well and i couldn't yeah. so like i can't tell if it's the maple brown sugar or the apple cinnamon you know with the little chunks of apple because it does have mm -hmm. a little bit of apple on the palate which i didn't get on the nose yep um a little apple peel it's not for me i don't think it's for <laughs> me um i don't know who it's for to be honest it's okay. Second sip. <laughs> I don't know that I would call this smooth. Like when people, it has a little mm. bit of a bite at the end. It does. And it has a little spice. For 90 proof, it has more bite than I would expect. If you were going for. And heat. If you were going for smooth. smooth yeah, it wouldn't have this little bit of bite. And to make matters worse, it's it's not very complex. There's not much there. It's just kind of, yeah, like sweet oatmeal. Mm -hmm. Sweet apple cinnamon oatmeal kind of. And then it's got this like bite at the end and it almost like, yeah, it's a little hot on the finish. And so I, not only do I not love it when things are just described as smooth, I don't actually feel like this Cap like the, that, <laughs> that applies it is. here. Yeah, I'm not saying it's com it's really rough. I mean, it's 90 proof, so it's as easy as a 90 proof would be to drink. But if I was new to whiskey and got something because I thought it would be smooth and approachable, which to me I think people just like they don't want to feel any burn, right? I don't want to feel any right. he any intense heat, or again that just like alcohol bite, which I do think you get on the finish of this. So. I think it's interesting to set up that expectation and then put this there. I don't know. Honestly, it has a little bit of a dry finish. But, you know, the 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 search for smooth, which I think from, you know, uh, standing back and looking at it, point of view makes a lot of sense. Hey, there's going to be a lot of people who are just Stapleton fans who are going to get this. Um, some of them will actually open it up and drink it. And we want it to not be harsh. So they'll be like, oh, and they, well, they want them to go buy a second bottle. Or maybe tiptoe into other Buffalo <clears throat> Trace products, right? right? So I get the the smooth thing, which does lead to the, the blended whiskey, uh, because you know blended whiskey is um, can be distilled at over 160, whereas mm. that's the cutoff for bourbon. So you're at 160 to 190 proof. You know, vodka is 190 above. So it, it's the more you distill it, the higher proofs, the more you get out, the more just almost like neutral grain spirit like vodka neutral grain spirit devoid of flavor but it, it takes a lot of those i think it's called con conifers is am i saying that right conifer is a tree i think okay so not that congeners uh, congeners yeah there you go <laughs> get the trees out of it I guess uh, I get those conifers out of here eh, am i wrong get Tell some evergreens uh, my in brain's here. not functioning exactly at 100 percent. so i think uh but you know it, it, those things that can give you a, a bite so I could see going the blended whiskey route just for that search for smoothness for the audience that they were targeting this towards. Did it work? I don't think it, it worked. Honestly. Yeah, I, I agree. Like, I just think maybe that's not the right way to approach this one. Or it's just, I don't know. Like I said, you're setting up an expectation that I feel like that you're then expected to deliver on. And I don't think that this 
meets the creative brief. Um, I don't know. But you know what I do think is interesting is that the search for smooth, that actually made me think of like, like a, we could make a small docu series about like what does it mean? For what smoothness. do people think about it? Like, because right. I, I think a lot of people have an opinion on what does smooth mean? Is it even relevant? Like, what what are people searching for? Mm -hmm. And then go on the quest to find like what is the smoothest bourbon that you've ever had or whatever. That's a tough call because I feel like I would take the opinion of people more like you and I and. And those in the chat mm. who are real whiskey fans who I don't want to generalize, but I think a lot of us aren't looking for smooth. Right. So then you get that crowd who is looking for smooth. Well, don't then they have a better opinion on what is and isn't smooth if they're the ones looking for I it? I suppose, even though they you wouldn't know. call them like a... Well, I mean, none of us are experts, but more like, of a beginner on their bourbon journey, yes, potentially. Potentially. Um, I suppose. That's that an interesting theory. They're going to know more than anyone... They're going to have a better opinion of what is and isn't smooth because they're the ones who use this terminology, mm -hmm. not really us. Right, 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 right. What do you guys think? I, oh. I want to read you, uh, I think it's from a USA Today. Yeah, because they listed some tasty notes. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. Um, do, 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 do. Look at all these ads. Well, they're they're not seeing this. Oh, uh, this is they're they're looking at us right now. Oh, still. cool. Sorry, because I just <laughs> yawned on camera. My bad. Here it is. So, what does uh, Chris Stapleton and Buffalo Trace Traveler whiskey taste like? Do -do 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 -do. Characterized by notes of oak, sweet maple, tart currant, and leather. Leather. Mm. Uh, complex, complex aromas of vanilla, aged fruit, and buttery shortbread. I could see the shortbread. I round it off by caramel and a touch of oak. I get no oak. It's more like a s cedar. I mean, there's a wood in there, like a dry wood, but it, it's not like your barrel oak of a bourbon. The flavor profile also showcases a touch of sweetness, though well, they're not lying there, followed by spice, toasted, uh, toasted noak, noak, toasted nut and oak. Put them together, noak. Toasted nut and oak flavors closing with a robust finish. Mm. <laughs> robust is a way to describe the finish. That is a word that you can use. It's not smooth. Um, <laughs> I, you know, it's funny when you were trying to describe like what type of wood you think it is. The on the palate, it reminds me of if I could taste the way that this smells, like the lumber aisle at Lowe's, ah. like that fresh cut, mm -hmm. yeah, lumber, fresh cut cedar, you know, something like that. First the way pine. that that smells is kind of the taste. Mm -hmm. People but it's are not like, so do you lick sawdust? No, charred, I don't. It's not charred, you know, right. oak. Fresh. Barrel oak. Um, no, it's, yeah. Fresh cut. It's wood. fresh. Noak. <sighs> I'm okay. I don't think I need any more. Eh, yeah. <laughs> so $40, and that's just retail. Please don't pay more than $40 for this. Um, I'm going to give it the no recommend. I expected to feel that way about it. I'm also going to give it a pass. Uh, I am interested in how it stacks up against other celebrity whiskeys, just in terms of... Well, blended whiskey, so it's not it's in the not running. It's not in the running? No. But it, you know if we don't put it in the episode and at least call, yeah, but at least then, give it a mention? Then we'll have to open it up to other ones that aren't exactly bourbons either. I thought it was just American whiskeys. I mean, obviously this isn't American whiskey because it's Canadian. Um... <laughs> Maybe it's North mm. American whiskeys. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> I don't know. We'll consider it. Maybe we'll put it to a vote. I just think the whole comment section will be like, but what about where, Traveler? Where's Traveler? All Can right, hell, we'll throw it in. Whatever. Thank you. <laughs> just because of the Buffalo Trace connection, I guess. Right. Yeah. I guess. People will want to know. We can caveat mm. it. Caveat it, yeah. for sure. A little asterisk. Disclaimer. Buy it. All right. All right. We'll, I'm uh, ready to move on. You know what? I'm going to leave this last little bit, and we'll come back to it later, and I'll see, you know, just how it's opened up in the glass. Um, I I forgot about even. I brought... Oh, where did it go? Buffalo Trace? No, Eagle Rare. No, I don't have it. Okay. I really thought... Did I... Am I losing my mind? Yes. I think so. Here it is. What about them but, glasses you don't be needing? <laughs> <laughs> but it's not even, I don't even think it's worth no. it. I don't even think it's worth it. And other people have done. It's have, not even apples to oranges. Have it's done other, fruit yeah. to a shoe. Not a shoe, but like something, a different category of thing. A gummy worm. That was a bad, yeah. 
I guess. <laughs> An like apple a banana to, to banana flavored Laffy Taffy. Okay, two I was going totally apple different things. Root, but yes. Yeah. Agreed. Okay. Well, there you go. Moving on. <laughs> it's uh, it's not for me. But hey, it's for somebody. But hey, yeah. But yeah. Don't pay. Don't pay forty dollars for that, or more than forty dollars for that. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's been going on here in the chat. Where's my tea? Uh. Yeah, Robert says he thought it was fine, uh, nothing to brag about. Uh, great whiskey for folks who are new to the hobby or casual drinkers, yes, who enjoy things like Crown Royal. I agree. I think it would be fine. Completely, yeah. I mean, admittedly, this is not, not made for... We're not the audience. ...for you and me. Yeah. yeah. We are yeah. not the target audience. When they sat in those meetings and a talked about who this review. is for... Glowing <laughs> review. Yes, a glowing review. Yeah. But we can recognize that. And, for sure. you know, made by, again, Buffalo Trace... Not necessarily distilled by at Buffalo Trace, but made by Buffalo Trace. We can acknowledge that this is a product of theirs that we don't like. But yeah. there are so many other things that they make that we do like. So mm -hmm. yeah. I'll always say that if I ever come across something that I'm like, I don't <sighs> like this thing from this distillery. But here's a handful of other things I do like from them. Because mm -hmm. not every product in a portfolio is for you. Right. Yeah. And that's, that's not that's one of them. That's just the way it goes. In life, you'll never mm -hmm. make everybody happy. Yeah. I'm trying to think if they do any other celebrity... <laughs> I think it's, is this their I first celebrity? I think this is their first that I'm that aware of. That they have their of. name attached to yeah. anyway? Yeah, I think so. Now, you know, Chris Ableton did do some E.H. Taylor barrel picks uh, a few years back that mm. all went to a charitable cause, I believe, that were uh, super popular. But, um, yeah. I don't remember I that, but that's cool. might be their first tie into the celebrity space. And 40, 40 bucks is a thing, like... No age statement, 90 proof. Yeah, $40 is where I blended, really start to expect some stats, whiskey. you know, some specs. Yeah, like that's the price Even less than of that, but... Eagle Rare 10 year. Right. Anyway. And you're getting that 10 year anyway, age statement there. Yeah. Also 90 proof. Yeah. And it's a bourbon. <sighs> a bourbon. It's a bourbon. Um, I thought we could drink a little bit of what <laughs> I, I picked up on, on the hunt. If you guys are cool with that. I'm just here. Uh, no, I'm, I'm delighted to be here. My tolerance is a little low after the whole. Well, there's a barrel proof. For... Cool. <laughs> now this isn't the exact bottle that I picked up because, as you can see, we already have one opened. Sorry for the squeaky chair. I gotta get that oiled. Um, I'm but so sorry. It is. Are we? Are we? Are we boring you, no, Sarah? No, I'm just like really tired. I'm so sorry. She's still recovering, y'all. I can't fight it. I. Gotta let the yawn out. Yeah, but this is a Jack Daniel single barrel barrel proof, like I picked up uh, up in Columbus. This one's actually a little higher proof, which I'm not mad about. It's 133.2. Mine was just under 130, I believe. Oh. So it's all good. I guess we've never told them like how I can't see. I mean, I think it's most people. If you see somebody yawn, you yawn. But if someone even says the word yawn, oh, yeah. I will. Like I'm saying She's it, and it, I'm like trying to. I'm not gonna do it. Fighting it back. Mm. So that's a thing about a fun fact about me. Yeah. <laughs> so don't type yawn in the chat. Stop. If she reads the word yawn, then she will yawn. So no typing <sighs> yawn. Yawn. In the Sorry. chat. Sorry. Quit saying it. <clears throat> All right. I wish no. I was faking it. It's really inconvenient. No, I don't like uh, it. I can confirm. <laughs> I am excited about this. Moving, yeah, from uh, 90 proof well, blended whiskey to... This is the first really high proof thing that I've had since I got over COVID. Yeah, tell them and, the, the high proof thing. Um, thing. Well, Rarebird 101 messaged us um, when they found out I had COVID and said, hey, here's some tips based on, you know, my recent experience. And thank you, David. Thank you very much for that. And uh, it's funny because I had just noticed like the day or two before because I had been tasting just to see, kind of measure a little bit. Like I would mm -hmm. take a little sip every day just to see where my taste buds were at. And um, what I found was anything really over 110 proof just completely blowing out my palate. Like couldn't taste it. It was just hot. And it almost tasted like, you know, I guess what I would imagine like doing the cinnamon ta challenge tastes like, which mm -hmm. is just licking cinnamon where it's just dry and hot and you're, it's unpleasant. But if it was lower than 110, especially in the 90 to 100 proof range, I could actually taste it. And it was really good. I really enjoyed some lower proof things. Mm -hmm. um, no, I didn't drink much because I obviously was recovering. That was a no, no. But it was a tasting exercise, so that was nice. Um, so this will be my first attempt at a barrel proof. Barrel proof in, since a, in a while. In a couple weeks, yeah. What about Yanni? If someone says Yanni. I think of um, what was the other one? Uh, oh, never mind. Laurel. Oh, 
Remember that? Yeah. It was like the dress. W- w- yeah. Was it gold and white or blue and black? Yeah. So it was Laurel it and Yanni. Laurel, Laurel, Laurel or, or Yanni. Yanni. Uh, I, I only heard I it. switched. I also switched. The first time I heard it, I heard it one way, and then I could only hear it the other way. Yeah. I could never go back. Crazy. You guys remember that? It's probably the five, internet. six years ago. Has it been that long? Probably, because we were at our old our job. old job. Yeah. Anyways. Hmm. Gosh, that smells good. Yeah, it does. Such like, mmm, desserty, rich oak, like a really dense, like, chocolate chip banana bread. Mm-hmm. So the thing with Jack Daniels Barrel Proof, oh, it smells so good. single barrel barrel proof, is that it's still kind of hard to come across one here in Kentucky, at least Lexington. Um, we did see, like, the... Uh, do either 200 or 375 mils of them. Yeah, like little guys. Total wine. Mm-hmm. Uh, but like actually seeing a full bottle is, has been kind of tough. And the rye, which did pick up single barrel barrel proof rye up in Columbus. That may have been the first time I've ever seen one, I think. Mm-hmm. I don't even think yeah, I've on seen the shelf, a bottle. Yeah. Unless it was somewhere marked up. What you reading? Anything of any? Uh... No, just looking. Okay. Just cool. keeping an eye. Just keeping an eye. I'm also listening to you. Good, Good on it. All right, well. Yeah, chocolate chip banana muffin, like really, like a really desserty one, not just like the breakfast bread, a little bit more. Do the little stop button. Yeah. No, the stop button. There yeah. You Thank you. Yeah, it's that brown formany, uh, which is odd because it's a completely different distillery, but just the brown foreman shares with like, you know, Old Forester and a little bit of Woodford, but like I do that. wonder if they share yeast strains. Maybe. I don't know. I know that people are like, they're different distilleries, they so it's not going to taste the same. But I'm like, but there is something about the yeast strains that they use that are very fruity, like mm. in terms of the banana. Mm. Anyways. Mm-hmm. Deal. <laughs> wow. I will never not like that. Wow. Um, yeah. That's so Again, good. yeah. Like intense, bold oak. Really good chocolate chip banana muffin. Banana Foster Bana- almost. Yeah. Um, bananas Foster mm. with that like dark rum syrupiness. Yeah. Yes. And the caramel. Mm-hmm. Caramelized. Zoe sugar. is Zoe is doing great. She's, She's great. back to normal. Yep. We do. Um, we go through about a pancreatitis about every year to year and a half. And it's. Yeah. <laughs> she, it just like flares up. Everybody's always like, well, what'd you give her? I'm like, she is on a very strict diet. She yeah. does not get any people Nothing food. that we know of. Right. If she ate something, it's not to my knowledge. Um, now the thing with Zoe is, uh, you know, we've still got like three inches of snow, three or four inches. And it's been like zero and degrees when you wake zero. up in the morning. Um, so taking her out, her little toe beans get cold, you know. If she's out cold. there for more than like, you know, a minute and a half, two minutes, she starts going like, hey, hey. And we have to pick her up, take her in. So we got her these little uh, we have snow, snow, shoes for snow her. boots. The year before, the last robot snow, we didn't have any. So we fashioned some with some of my socks. Your old socks? Old socks. Ziploc, Ziploc bags, bags, bags. And rubber and bands. Rubber bands. And it, Cause it was like negative 20 outside. Yeah, it, it worked for her, but man, did she, she look didn't like it. janky. It was a whole thing. So uh, after that. We bought her snowshoes. Like, yeah, plopped down 36 bucks at like Hollywood feet or whatever it is and got her these. And then it didn't snow for the rest of the year. So and we're, like, we're first... never gonna have to use these. So yeah, now's our first time using them. And she, yeah, she, I mean, she <laughs> tolerates them because otherwise she can't stand in the snow. But yeah. it's so funny when she walks because she just picks p- <laughs> picks up her feet and shakes them like, get get it off. She's getting used to the, the shoes now. <clears throat> it's cute. That first time she kicked them off, we had to put them on a little I've... tighter. Anyways, that's yeah. uh, the update there. That's an update on the dog. Yeah. yeah. But, it's cute though. Ooh, this is good. Oh my, yes. Man. Mm. Okay, so I think my taste is back. Okay, good. Because this is not... I can taste these flavor notes, mm-hmm. and, like, it, I, it's hot, but I think that's just because it's over 130 proof. Yeah, 133. And I can taste it all still through the finish. It's not just, like, licking cinnamon. Good, good. Um, yeah, there's definitely a... Mm, yeah, cinnamon, a little bit of clove, yeah, on that. Just a little uh, baking spice, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really good. But it's... I can enjoy it versus it being, like... <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. was the noise I specifically made. <laughs> Can confirm. Her her little uh, bout with COVID did set us back over a week on our best rye of the year. Oh, yeah, because we I couldn't taste. still tasting, so... Um, Sorry about that, but it couldn't but be But now, this, this was sort of like the litmus test. 
Now I feel like we can officially get back to tasting and ranking these rides. It was rides. a test. Today was a test? Today was a test. You passed. Great. Good job. So probably still expect another two weeks before we can get we'll through all those it, and then filmed and edited. So yeah. Um, hopefully you guys won't be over it by then. Like, what? 2023. Well, they did the Oscars <laughs> and all the things for right. all the shows from last year in like February, yeah. March, and April. So it'd be yeah. okay. True, 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 true. Oh, something in my eye. Um, what well, I, I was like gonna, this. I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, so um, you guys also saw my video with Jason, um, Mash and Drum. Also something I did while I was up there in Columbus. We talked for over an hour, um, maybe even close to an hour and a half. So I've got all this good. Poor Jason. <laughs> <laughs> right, all this good uh, footage that I'm gonna take sort of the topics out and release, um, you know, th throughout time. I don't know. Throughout? Throughout time. And actually... It I sounds like in perpetuity. In perpetuity. Forever. Until we run out of topics. But yeah. I was kind of thinking it might be cool, you know, when I get a topic sort of edited down to show you the video and then get your take on it okay. sort of at the end. Yeah. To incorporate you, like, and what would you like to add to the topic, Sarah? Okay. And then and you can... Kind of, I, I can do that. Kind of do that and and that. So you know, be looking forward to to those to those as well. It it I had a really good response. But well, you think it might just have been that particular topic? It may have been that particular topic. It may have been Jason's beautiful face. I don't know what it, what it was, but um, no comment. <laughs> I'm not allowed. Uh, yeah, people responded and and commented on. That's the great thing is people engaged, engaged, contributed their thoughts on that topic and one thing that i would like to add and we might also bring this up in the next video sort of like a housekeeping thing is you know a lot of people were commenting because the, the topic if you haven't seen it was is um how did i word it is being a bourbon drinker nowadays less fun than it than was it, than before. it used to be and some people would comment like no it's just as fun because i enjoy having bourbon with my friends just as much and <laughs> Uh, to me, that felt like a given. Like, yes, obviously, it's no less fun to have bourbon with your friends. You ask course. people for their opinions, and they give them to you, and you say, well, not that one. Well, not that one. <laughs> Only the ones that I agree with, please. <laughs> no. I mean, I, yeah, I kind of saw that as a given, but uh, obviously, yes. I think, but I think that's kind of true. Like, it's, it's an true. evergreen truth. If you're having... It is ver it's very decent, sweet cinnamon. It is a sweet cinnamon. If yeah. you're having decent bourbon with decent people then you're having a good time. Mm -hmm. And then how is that many more or less fun than it was before? Like, that's kind of just a... Yeah. I think that that's really profound, actually. That's true. Yeah. Should have said in the episode, like, obviously, you know, it's still fun to drink with friends. But... Yeah. Yeah, we it was more... Hating. It was more of just like... And also, I think some of it, and this wasn't mentioned, was just a little bit of the magic starts to rub off. Like, when you're... Starting out on your whiskey journey and you're like uh, discovering these these new things like, oh, this is a new favorite. And and you wait in line for the first time and you get one of those chased bottles for the first time. Like there's that rush. And yes. then over time it gets a, a little bit more, you know, the honeymoon phase is over. Right. And it gets a little bit worn off. And, mm -hmm. and that old, was also the old ball and chain. The old ball and, chain. <laughs> and that was also a little bit of it, too. It, it's it's harder to chase that feeling just because it's physically harder to find those things that would give you that It's almost like you're chasing a burst. high that you can't really get anymore because the things that would satisfy are no pony. longer uh, available or it's not attainable mm -hmm. anymore. Yeah, it's it's much so more people saturated. people become frustrated. Uh-huh. There's much more of a frustration. Either yes. you can't find what you're looking for so you're frustrated or there's so much saturation that nothing feels special anymore. Yeah, you know, I think that's uh, part of the thing is like, you know, something really exciting will come across like Coming Whiskey on um, Instagram. and What a good page to follow. Yeah, it's great. And you look at it and you're like, man, I, just looking at the specs like on paper, that's something I so want to taste. And then either the price comes out and you're like, that's so out of my budget or it's so limited, so allocated, so hard to find. That's a little bit of a couple of the little boom, boom, boom that add up over time and, and you feel a little beat up and you're like, yeah, I think uh, so. and you get a little tired of it. But all that to be said, there's still amazing things on the shelf to drink with sure. people. So that part will never get old, but it was more about that other part. 
I guess this is you commenting on the video since you weren't in it. If yeah. you had anything else, but I think you already said. I think I said yeah. my piece. Yeah. How do you guys feel? I mean, I also think that a lot of the feedback was like, one, it's it's YouTubers' fault, it's Whiskey Tube's fault that this is even happening in the first place, and <sighs> two, that who are you to complain or speak on this because you have more access than any of us? And I totally feel both of those sentiments. Mm -hmm. But like, let's not forget that there are also people who write blogs for giant magazines and online resources who make lists every week of the best this, that, and the other that you need to get. Yep. Whereas we only do that once a year. Um, people who write books, pe brands who are repping their products out there to people like bartenders who are doing it. So I think just to say it's Whiskey Tube's fault is, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to take some of the blame, but I'm not going to take all of the blame. You know, a spirits writers existed before we did. Yeah, a small percentage, absolutely. We're definitely not completely in the clear. But We're not helping <laughs> some things, you know. Yeah, from at least from my perspective, it's sort of like the hype happens and then Whiskey Tube reacts. It's not Whiskey Tube reacts Created the creating hype. the hype. You know what I mean? Like USA Today, for God's sake, is writing an article about Chris Stapleton and, and the Traveler. And right. They'll uh, they'll come out. They with, have a much larger reach than we yeah, do. Yeah. Here's what here's what you should be searching for in bourbon in 2024 and and those type of things that hits a mass audience. Sure. Mass audience isn't turn, tuning into Whiskey Tube. Not going to pretend again like we don't have the ear of a hyper-focused group of people within sure. the spirit segment. Mm. But I don't think that it's entirely justified to put the, all the blame on our shoulders. Um, I don't, and I'm just to be honest, I just don't think we have that much sway. Like, mm -hmm. I don't, I mean, I think some Well, people, you just look at our audience, like numbers wise, us or anyone even bigger than us, it's still a fraction, fraction. of people who drink. Sure. I, th I guess I think that they're giving us maybe more credit than we deserve in terms of how much influence we have over people's actions and behaviors. Right. Um, we just try to help guide you in terms of should I or shouldn't I buy this, you know, yeah. or should I, is it worth me tasting? Do, I, do you like it? Maybe I would like it. Yeah. Uh, and then the other part, what did I say the other part was? Mm -hmm. um, oh, that we can't, basically like who are you to speak on it? And I do think that's fair too. You know, we are very fortunate in that we get to try a lot of things. Of course, we're grateful, but many of those things are just through media samples, which we get because of the work that we do. It's not like we're just the favorite child who <laughs> happens to get, like they give them to us because we do this. You know, if it wasn't for this, we wouldn't get those things. But often that's the only way we try it. So mm -hmm. if we can recognize that if it weren't for that, we'd be in the exact same boat as everyone else. Not complaining. Obviously, again, no. we feel very grateful and lucky to be able to try those things, but I, I don't think we're so far removed that we can't relate and be like, we couldn't even find a bottle of that either, right. so we understand, but I don't know. Well, it's like Jason said um, in the video, uh, if he didn't have a channel, his collection would be vastly smaller and yes. he would mainly be going after just the ones that he really likes and barrel picks. You right. Know, the type of thing. So it is sort of like a function of doing your doing your job. I mean I you guess. Th we live in a reality like because of again what is afforded to us through the channel that is not relatable for some folks, many folks. Um, but I think we can still recognize where our privilege is there and then how it still is for everyone else. I don't think we're that far removed. But that's just my opinion. If you think that we are completely living in dream world, then that's what the comment section's for. Go on and go on and say it. I'd like to live in a dream world. <sighs> Amen. All right. I'm about to be in a dream world. You're about to be with this, this uh, rye, Ooh. aren't you, though? Okay, so. Here. Yeah. Oh, and I dare not get my knife out because I've been getting, um, I've been getting knife shamed. Oh, have you? Yeah. Why? By how you use it, or like no, the just because it's knife? it's a super cheap knife. Oh well, then we got, I guess we got to fix that. Yeah, I got I got somebody on it. Don't worry. Oh, you got a knife guy? I got I got. I'm a, guy. a little afraid of that. I got a guy. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I got a knife guy. Murder. <laughs> I mean, I was you know of the hey, it, it does the job, um, function over form, but you can always have a better functioning knife too. Well, it's done its job for a while now. Oh, that was a nice pop. That was nice. All right, so this is the rye, our first bottle of the single barrel barrel proof rye that we've ever owned. 
in our eight years. Of course, the rye hasn't been out. What? But when did it come out? 2020? Around there? I don't, I don't know. know. The barrel proof rye, that is. But yeah, as long as it's been out, we have not owned a bottle. This Correct. is our first bottle. But we've tried it before. Oh my, yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's not Koi Hill or anything. Uh, but is that it is... you complaining? <laughs> no. <laughs> See, there I go again. Uh, it's um, just one that we never see here in town, or really Kentucky. Yeah. Now, John Gramps said that it's hitting now in Georgia, like $80 usually. This was sixty four ninety nine uh, at a cash-only place. Interesting. Yeah. Cash-only. Seems suspicious but okay uh, no it's a state run place so it's got to be on the level right i guess um so this is 129.3 proof yeah i don't know chad it's kind of low what 129.3 it's kidding, not obviously. even 130 or if it's I, if it's not above 130 i don't want to drink it yeah That's i should joke. have i should have uh given a shout to jeff while i was up there because you should have. jeff with the super chat saying missed you in columbus chad thanks uh Thanks to uh, you two for bottle samples. Yeah, yeah that's right. He from the holiday mm -hmm. giveaway. From the holiday giveaway, we're very, very welcome, Jeff, and thank you for that super yeah, chat. Yeah, thank you. A ride. Cheers to you. It's a nice little harmony. Oh, this one's not as I recognize it's Chad's chocolate fault. chip banana bread. It, it probably is. On the nose, very different. I mean, as a rye, I expect that. Kind of having trouble with anything on this one. I think that might just be me. Yeah, it's sort of a little bit um, I, Irish Spring. I kind of hate giving that note because I don't want people to think I'm you know, saying that it smells like soap. But yeah, a little effervescent. And the way that soap is bright and herbal and minty. Mm -hmm. or not minty, but you know what I mean. Cleansing. I don't know. So Georgia Clean. is the land of Jack Daniels rye. It's okay. pretty much everywhere down here, says Gramps. Oh, my eye. Yeah. Where's the hair and makeup person? Come fix it. That's also about. Zoe. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 129.3. Zoe does have nice hair. She does. It's beautiful. She's beautiful. Hmm. Yeah. I think it's a more uh, drink it and then smell it again type of thing. Agreed. <gasps> I don't think I'm ready for this one. I think I'm going to have to come back. Uh... <laughs> Ooh, whoa, zap, thing. zap, yeah. My right. palate's not my palate is not there yet. It's like it's like lead, right? I'm getting herbal, a little bit medicinal actually. Is, are you getting any of this? Like herbal medicinal oh, herbal yes. I'm getting cherry cough drop. No, no. Okay, so I'm getting mm. cherry cough drop, and that's not, that's a no for me. It's like. Again, like that hot, licking dry cinnamon and cherry cough drop to me, which mm. I don't think is what this actually tastes like, just based on my memories of Jack Daniels uh, single barrel barrel proof rye. So I don't think that I will be weighing in on this one this evening because my opinion is biased. Oh, okay. Hi, Toddy, who was our chefia um, around the fine uh, city of Columbus and surrounding areas, says a lot of older... Older, take two, action. A lot of older school liquor stores in Ohio are cash only because the fees credit card companies give them shortens the profit margin. Oh, that makes sense. Grocery stores can make up the difference with other sales. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, it's interesting that we saw that um, Weller Special Reserve, $2 less at the store that was cash only. So if they bump it up, two more dollars. But maybe they can't because it's, see, again, the ABC store is foreign understand. to us. And, and someone said in the comments, like, yeah, some stores are just slow to update mm. price changes. And that's why, because I saw like a 2 to $3 difference in Joseph Magnus mm. there. Yeah, I saw um, that in the episode. Yeah. Uh, eight, in the 80s for Joseph Magnus. Wow. Whoa. Just crazy. Around here, anyway. Around here. Around these So parts. if... I guess if they're not allowed to bump it up to compensate for the credit card thing, then yeah, that that totally makes sense. Uh, Matthew saying, Chad, I found a Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rye in Maysville, Kentucky last week for 80 bucks. Um, new good wine and spirits store there. Nice. nice. I'm going to give this a second sip just to see Do it. what's going on. 
Eighty dollars seems to be um, the Kentucky price for it here in a few places. So you've been seeing it around, Sean. That's that's that is a um, good news. Nope, oh, not ready for it. Which is also very concerning to me about the rye um, best of tasting. I think it's if it's a barrel proof thing. If yeah. it's a barrel proof and that much spice and flavor, like mm. my tongue's still not, my palate's still not there yet. I don't think. Um, well, we may be bumping that best of rye. Another. We'll see. I just, if we're going to put it out there, I want to feel really good about Absolutely. the results. So yeah. I don't want to rush you it. Can't be marred um, in that. No, I don't want to uh, not give my best effort. Absolutely. Um, so it shall have to wait if it has to wait. Yeah. But yeah, no, this is not. I'm not there yet with this. Um, but at least I know. Brandon. Now I know. Brandon saying great meeting you guys this weekend at Bourbon Con. You were at Bourbon Indeed. Con. Your presentation was my favorite part. Ah. Oh, that's so kind. And I uh, attended for the weekend. I uh, oh. hope you guys come back next year. We hope we will be too. Thank you for what you're doing. It's great to meet you too, Brandon. Thank you so much. Thank that's you. a huge compliment to hear that that was your um, uh, your favorite uh, event there. You must have not made Peggy's seminar <laughs> because that was. Must we were in that one and I was oh. like. Puts us to shame. It was but she great. always does. She I brings mean, it. She, she had her own chef. She had her own chef. She had, her own she chef. had a tasting and food. Mm -hmm. it, you, you're not going to top that. You're not going to top gonna it. You're not going to top that. You're but I did have it. fun doing our seminar. So oh, absolutely. I would like to do that one again. It's a lot more front end work in terms of prep sure. for to do a, an old fashioned class than it is to just do a blind tasting. Oh, yeah. She made all um, the syrups herself. Hand, herself. Um, you know, got little bottles, hand mm -hmm. labeled. Yeah. And all, pre portioned all the bitters and peeled like a hundred orange peels and cut them into nice little garnishes the morning of. It was a whole thing. Uh, it was a labor of love, but it was worth it. And I it had was, a good time. It was much appreciated, Glad obviously. to hear that you enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. This is, I mean, yeah, it's a rye. It's got a lot more spice. Very I'm only warm. getting this like one thing. Very so. warm in the chest. Um, yeah, I haven't even, <laughs> I haven't even thought about notes yet. Let me actually drink this with that in mind. Mm. There's a savory element to this. Um, I'm not getting that at all. It It, it is a touch dry. Um, Maybe that's what I'm having trouble with, that it's like the dry notes and the dryness that my palate's not like yeah. responding to right It's not now. so much effervescent, like kind of I was getting on the nose. Mm -hmm. Like when you said Irish Spring. Yeah, but it's more, um, oh, what's that term for, for meaty? Umami? Maybe. I don't know if that's exactly what I'm trying to go for. I thought there was some like better way of saying it tastes m meaty, chewy, like that noise. No, we'll have to invent one then. Maybe. Uh, uh, Y'all, do do any of you all know <laughs> about that? Texture wise, like I know I bring up steak a lot. I'm not saying savory like steak, you just, but okay. the sensation of chewing a piece of steak mm -hmm. where you have to chew it because you know it's a little more chewy than tough. say like corn not N tough not if you get a, the right kind of steak well you know what i mean you still have yeah. to chew steak even if it's sure. melt in your mouth uh yeah it's just sort of kind of meaty savory gristly <laughs> steaky <laughs> i like steak the term for meaty <laughs> is meaty steaky <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah okay yeah, it's steaky. It's meaty. I think. Um, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what you're looking for. The spice is sort of more of an allspice. It's not really cinnamon. It's not really, I mean, if anything, black pepper, more black pepper heavy. But it, it, it's it's kind of encompassing a lot of different spices in there. And I'm trying to think if there's any, like, what's the citrus? It's a, it's a very sharp type of citrus. I'm not getting any of that. So I definitely need to revisit this one. I'm so sad. I want to be tasting it like it's supposed Almost to be. Almost borderline tropical just, citrus. My package is... um, It's not really like, you know, the typical lemon that we get a lot. It's more almost like the um, the tiki bitters. Mm -hmm, sort of more mm -hmm. that tropical, tropical type of uh, citrus. Yeah. It's, it's the right. citrus and spice, I think. It's yeah, really that's good. very, like what you're describing, kind of a tiki thing. Yeah. Almost smoky. Bord borderline. Borderline that. Um Try Traveler. Yeah, we did that. Uh, top of the show. Top of the show. That'll be on the on the replay. I do have a little bit 
left that I've been leaving for the end. I also so have some left. I'll just revisit it. We'll revisit it. Now that it. I've tried this and completely fried my palate, let's see uh, what we got going on here. New shirt. It's sticky. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. That was this, not the Traveler. Uh, oh, it's worse after this. I think I just shot my palate though too. <laughs> Palette is shot. Didn't taste good. Tasted worse. Tasted like not nail polish remover, but getting there. Hmm. That's not what you want to hear. No, it's not. Okay. Well, I think I'm done tasting for the evening. Well, let me go back to the traveler. Yeah, here. you go ahead. It's gonna be a sad, sad thing after this. <laughs> yeah. No doubt. There's a lot working against it. Not only just the proof, but going to to blended whiskey mm -hmm. from a nice rye and a whatever you call Jack Daniels barrel proof, single barrel barrel proof bourbon. Yes. Oh, with it opening up in the glass here, the nose. Here, and I have more is... left in mine if you want to smell it. You don't, uh, why don't you not drink after me? Just good call. I'm good now, but let's not tempt the fates. Yeah. Um, like opening up a bag of candy from the gas station store. Yeah. Like it's that type Synthetic. of sweetness. I mean, that's not what first came to mind. It's just a sweetness more like you're making a cocktail and you're pouring a part of the cocktail is a liqueur mm. and you're pouring the liqueur. Like, you know how you do the little screw top and there's all those little white, uh, sugary, that oh, yeah, just yeah, yeah, sort yeah. of like that type of sweetness is now what this nose is. But again, I think that that was that like sweetness in an oatmeal, like that topping yeah, or whatever that I was. It just doesn't, nothing close to a bourbon. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, now it's water. Joey Tony wants me to try to sip some water and then sip it. And I, I will do that for you. Is this the. Yeah, this is the traveler. Yeah, it, that was that. Then now it's just water. It's um, like when you pick up a glass of water and you don't realize that it's like cucumber infused or, or something, and you're like, "Hey, this water is a little off." <laughs> Better with yeah, the water. That's what it tastes like now. Better, but I still am having trouble getting notes other than the two that I said before. And that's with the traveler. No, I did went back to the Jack Daniels oh, the, the uh, and, and okay. tried a sip of water first, and it did mm. help. Um, but I'm still limited. I'm still really only getting like two things, and it's the finish on it is just I'm just tasting cherry cough drop, and I don't like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> you don't like which, but I know cough? that I don't dislike this product in general. Now, obviously, this is a different single barrel bottle, but I don't remember feeling this way about it. So, I would like to. What I'm getting is nothing like what you're saying, so I would like to revisit. I thought this was a pretty typical Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof rye. Okay. Yeah. Um. Because um, I'm not feeling it right now, so I think I'm just gonna cherry. Excuse myself. Cough syrup. Cherry. Cherry cough drop. Okay. Cherry cough. Like a Hall's cough drop. Taste of her cherry chapsticks. I'm not even cherry. Ch <laughs> it's not. I kiss the girl and I like it. Cough drop. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's cherry. No. Uh, chapstick. Yeah. It's okay. Got it. You tried Katie Perry. You tried with your little pop culture reference, didn't you? Mm. It's okay. Yes. Well, um, <laughs> I think I'm. Yeah, you're spent. You're you're still you're good, but you're. I'm good, but my body's still getting still, your energy yeah. back from the from the sickness. She had oh, she had the sickness. I had the sickness. Yeah, the sickness of twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 20, not odd 20, but you know, 20, like that's when it came about 20, 2020. Oh, I see. Yeah. Got it. It's like old timers. Like the, the great flood of 18. Yeah, exactly. But which 18? Which 18? Well, yeah, yeah. whatever. I made that up that I, I mean, and there may have been one. I'm sure there was I'm a sure great flood in 18. Funny. One um, of the 18s. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, folks. Uh, I was just like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sleepy. Yeah. It's okay. We will see you guys. We will see you next week. Next week. Yeah. Uh, can't wait. You'll be one week back, more I back to normal. I should be more back to normal. Yeah. Yes. One week of rest and recovery. Dare I say 100% even. <gasps> I think I will be. Yeah. I already feel pretty close to it. It's just like mm -hmm. my energy, my bursts of energy are 
last for a shorter time mm-hmm. than they normally do. Yeah. I it's like when you know, when you use your iPhone for a long time and then all of a sudden it it doesn't hold its battery charge for as long. Right. I'm in that position. So right you now. need the upgrade. Need an upgrade. I Which have, I will get this week. I will I'll have an upgrade and we'll have a new <laughs> we'll have a new Sarah here next week. Yeah, it'll be great. Yeah. I'll take some to download that rest. new software. Gotta get some rest. But we will see you next Sunday we'll, where we will do something different. Something different and exciting. We did, that we did tonight. And it'll be a flawless intro. Hopefully. Not <laughs> like this one. <laughs> all, right. all right. We'll see you all then. See you all then. Bye. Bye-bye.